case. So the first proposition would be, we do have real problems Pe because people suffer and like we have real problems and we would also like to solve them and that solutions do exist. And that if you have a solution and then you implement it socially, and so you have to get people to cooperate and compete around the solution, you're going to produce a hierarchy. And if the hierarchy is valid, then the people who are the best at producing the solution to the problem are going to lead the hierarchy. Okay, so that would be a conservative right-wing position. It's like, we need hierarchies, they, they privilege values, and they're necessary to solve problems, and there is a relationship between the ability to solve the problem and the structure of the hierarchy. Okay, so when we'd say that's true when hierarchies are functioning well. Okay, so that's the right-wing viewpoint. And then the left-wingers would say, wait a second, your hierarchy gets rigid over time and ossifies and can be occupied by people who use power instead of competence to dominate it, and they do that unfairly, and they warp the structure of the hierarchy, and that makes it difficult for people to gain entry, including talented people, and then the hierarchy itself as a structure has a problem because dispossessed people tend to stack up at the bottom. And that all seems relevant and true, right? So, so then, then you could say, well, you need the right because you need the hierarchies and, and, and they need to be implemented. And that's what managers and administrators do. That's what conscientious people do because they're hierarchically oriented. And it's a very efficient way of operating. And people are actually happier within hierarchies because there's an identifiable chain of command. But then the left has its position, which is, yeah, but you got to watch out for the dispossessed because they're the majority. And you have to make sure the thing doesn't degenerate towards tyranny. So then I think the political discussion is the left and the right constantly eyeing each other to make sure that the hierarchical structures maintain their good health. And so, and that's why freedom of speech is necessary. Okay, so the, now, the, the issue with that, let's see if I can get back to where I was, I was going with this to begin with. Oh yes, the issue with that is that if you're just a rebel, you say, well, we're going to criticize the system, whatever that is, so that's a very vague thing to begin with, you demolish that value hierarchy. And, and the idea of value hierarchies as such, but then that puts you in a terrible conundrum. And, and this is what I've been focusing on in my public lectures, is that if you accept the essential idea that life is suffering, and life is suffering tainted by malevolence, which I think is an even more accurate formulation, you have a fundamental existential problem, and that's the suffering. And then you need a meaning to set against that, to, 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 to fortify you against the catastrophe. So, and if you demolish the hierarchies, then you have no meaning. There's nothing to strive for. And without that meaning, you're anxious and overwhelmed by definition. We know that neuropsychologically because purpose boxes you in, right? It gives you a game to play and rules to follow. <clears throat> and then purpose gives you something to aim at and positive emotion. And so the problem with what the left is offering, and I think this is actually the kind of problem that Sam Harris and the atheist types are running into too, is that it's like, well, okay, where's the purpose? Well, we don't have one. It's just rebellion against the unfair hierarchy. It's like, yeah, but the hierarchy also provides you with value. Well, that's okay. It's cost is so high, we're going to demolish the hierarchy. Well, then you're left with nothing. Well, but no, you're not left with nothing because you're left, what you're left with is an inalienable suffering, so, not nothing. That's the suicide. And, and, I, and I think that the, the left solution to that has been intersectionality, meaning what they've done is yes. they've just taken the, hier they've taken the hierarchy and they've said, the hierarchy is bad because it's ossified and it's terrible. And it's not just that they've destroyed the hierarchy and then we are all leveled. It's that they've inverted the hierarchy in certain ways. That merit itself has become a sign that you are an exploiter. Yes. Right? That, if you are, that if you're on the top of the hierarchy, then it's because you did something wrong to get there and you hurt yes. someone to get there. Yes. And therefore, the, the last shall be first. We're going to just take this triangle and we're going to flip it upside yep. down. So that way, the okay, people who so, are at the bottom are at the top. So